Well, it's been an interesting life thus far. And over the last few months, I've been immersed in national politics, in parliament, in my digital democracy initiative, and also trying to redefine what it is to be a member of parliament in this age of the internet, this age of personal empowerment, and this age of cynicism. And definitely, I've reached some conclusions on that. But first, let me fill in a few personal blanks. Let's call it what happened before I got thrown out of caucus. Well, how you doing? I'm Garth, and welcome to Parliament Hill. Two threads seem to run through Garth Turner's life. A love of technology and science manifested today in his role as Canada's leading public webcaster and political blogger, and that of communications, from his native teaching ability to his role as a daily newspaper personality over many years, to spending almost a decade touring Canada as a financial guru and the country's most popular public speaker, to his authoring of seven best-selling books on the economy, personal finance and real estate, to hosting the most watched business show in the country produced by a company he founded and led for seven years, which became Canada's largest independent producer of network TV. During the technology boom, Turner combined the two threads to create the country's and the world's first online, interactive, digital television station, Workday TV, which also pioneered wireless internet transmission, broadcasting from a mobile studio in the heart of the nation's financial hub. And through it all, or perhaps because of it, he became and has remained a controversial agent of change, challenging the traditional ways of doing business, media, and politics. So I've been a member of Parliament twice, and a cabinet minister, and a leadership contender, as well as a, a media guy, and a teacher, and a lecturer, and an entrepreneur, uh, and a career journalist, as well as an author. But you know, I think we've come to the point right now where we have a convergence of the public good and education and technology to the point which we've created something that has the power to change everything, even this. In less than six months after being elected once again to Parliament in 2006, Garth Turner proved that a blog and the interactive online presence of a politician can rival the power of the mainstream media. Using a journalist's skill, Turner has created a daily journal of public life that is now routinely quoted from the front page of the Globe and Mail to publications around the world. Turner's online audience averages almost two million visitors a month and has spiked as high as a million hits a day. Yet the era of internet openness and democratic dialogue has come into open conflict with politics as usual. With his ouster from the Conservative government of Stephen Harper, Garth Turner became the poster boy for questioning the old ways of doing things and the need for reform. It's a very difficult situation in which to operate and it's difficult to speak out. I'm the poster boy for that. Garth Turner now sits as an independent MP and is seen by many people as an example of direct democracy at work, a new nonpartisan approach in which direct communications with the people has created what's now called the retail politician. A retail politician is someone like Garth Turner who understands what the viewers want. Part of, and when we talk about viewers, we're talking about voters, and part of the way this all works is that if you know what your audience is interested in and can provide them with an answer, then you've made that connection. It's the politician who continues to talk about something that the public finds irrelevant who finds himself out of the mainstream. So it's important to listen, to hear what concerns the public, to understand what motivates the public, and then provide an answer. Maybe not everything they want to hear, but provides an answer that at least indicates that you're paying attention to where their concerns are. Turner has also earned his stripes as an entrepreneur, risk taker and businessman, starting his first venture, a successful newspaper chain, at the age of 25. Business is incredibly creative and I love the challenge. I publish weekly newspapers, owned a significant book publishing house, started a television network production facility and owned restaurants, invested in commercial real estate and taken a lot of pleasure out of restoring heritage buildings since one of the best environmental actions is making use of the assets we already have. Garth Turner has also served as a national director of the Sierra Legal Defense Fund, 
upholding and strengthening environmental protection laws and has been a national spokesperson for the Alzheimer's Society of Canada. Well, it certainly has been interesting bringing my writing and broadcasting and communication skills to Parliament Hill, especially at a time when politics is going through a time of profound change. In fact, change is a constant social theme, now more than usual, as this digital world that we're in expands knowledge, shrinks the world, and at the same time makes every one of us more informed and more relevant. The generation we're training now is the first truly online one who will apply this digital view of the world to public life, the new media, and business, taking them into careers where borders, time zones, and conventional wisdom are all challenged and all likely overcome. I know some people find me controversial, others challenging. I, I have no regrets about that. In fact, I'm proud of it. Today, public life, media, communications, technology, they're all converging in a way that we just haven't seen before, which makes it a thrilling time to be involved and an honor to be driving it.